Good morning, hello and welcome to a new um, weekly just blow dried my hair. I will talk you through what I use in a minute, but let's kick this off, let's kick this off by saying it's my first vlog since I've been back from New York. The suitcases are here, they need unpacking. My office is a mess, my house is a mess, but I had the best time. If you wonder why I'm so casual, well firstly I did just get out of the shower, but also I'm not very well today. Um, I don't want to show you because it might freak you out. It's, disgusting but my whole back has got bed bug bites all over it we st stayed in an airbnb in new york and it was an expensive airbnb it's not like it was a really cheap airbnb and myself matt and my brother all got bitten and the ones on my back are so 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 bad and so sore and i've just been so exhausted all day i think that's jet lag um but yeah i'm just not feeling my best right now if i'm completely honest um, so I'm just kind of doing some work today, taking it easy, not going to go to the gym because I think it's hurting them. And I just washed my hair. My hair feels amazing. Look, you can still kind of see some of my natural curl. Here's my moisture and if you guys know, I am actually working with them this year. Oh my goodness, their products are amazing. I've actually been buying them for ages. They were on offer at Boots. I don't think they are anymore, but I will leave a link below so you can get them. So I just washed my hair using their Strength and Anti-Breakage with Agave Conditioner. This one is for chemically damaged hair and it's to smooth, revive and quench. Honestly, it makes my hair smell amazing. It's got velvety hibiscus oil in it, pineapple extract. And the reason I like them so much is because all of the ingredients are just so good. There's no mineral oils, no silicones, no SLS, no sulfate suffocants, can't pronounce that, no synthetic dyes, no ales. Yes, vegan, yes, pure coconut water, and it also has pure aloe juice in it. Also, I stayed at Artist Residence recently in London and I used this one. Everyone kept saying how good my hair smelled. Literally, this one is sea minerals for colour protection. My hair needs that protection. I actually just got it dyed at Sassoon before New York. I am telling you, your hair smells like pure ocean, like the ocean breeze when you use this one. This is meant to help fade, defy, smooth and hydrate and it's got pure algae, lush sea kelp and sea minerals in it. Then I just blow dried my hair with this one. Honestly, there's so many different ranges for so many different hair types. I actually got a DM on Instagram the other day when I did my post for them from a girl saying she swears by their ranges. Yay! So this one is to thicken and restore, which is probably why my hair looks so thick and fat not to blow my own trumpet, um, with bamboo fibres and it's just their blowout mist for weak, brittle hair. So you guys probably know that my hair care story is a very long one. I basically had no hair growth, I didn't have any hair, so I'm all about using good products that are full of goodness and I absolutely love this brand, also silicone free. This one has exotic bamboo fibres in it, lush neem oil and castor oil. So there we go guys. Also, there's going to be a giveaway on my Instagram where I'm going to be giving some of this stuff away, so if you want to try it, Shea Butter Hair Mask, I told you, like, it's just such a tropical brand, it's inspired by Hawaii, and I always want to go to Hawaii, so maybe that's another reason why I like it so much, but this one for dry damaged hair is so good for travel as well. Go to my Instagram for the giveaway, it should be live soon, and yeah, my hair feels amazing. Then on the lips... I used my Pure Papaya Care. If you watch my New York vlog, you'll know I absolutely love this brand. They do a few of them, some of them are in my suitcase, so I'll get them out and talk to you about the others. But this one is for the lips with Pore Pore with Calendula to smooth and hydrate, and it, again, it's 100% natural. Then I've just got that on with a Buxom lipstick, which I don't know where that's gone, but it's in here somewhere. See, I'm kind of like in the mist of unpacking whilst I've got all of these bites. Oh yeah, it's this one that I've been wearing all the time in Vava Plum Pony Do, literally obsessed. God, my back keeps sticking. This is disgusting. <sighs> Enough standing up for me. I'm gonna take you downstairs and show you something very exciting that's come. Then I'm gonna straight to my hair, even though I like it being thick like this, I actually want to have it straight today. So let's go downstairs and show you what's come. And then we need to unpack. I hope there's no bed bugs in my suitcase. Can't deal with that. <laughs> and sort my room out. Then I'm heading to London actually tomorrow morning. So we've got some exciting things in London that you can come to with me. And the house hunt is back on. Viewing some more houses. So yeah, let's see. Wait till you see what's in my conservatory. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. We got the Samsung frame TV. Obviously, as you guys know, I was meant to be moving into my flat. I'm not, but... I don't think my mum's actually going to let this leave the house. Look how nice it looks. My mum and my brother were like, oh my god. This is a TV, guys. And the idea is it's called the frame. 
this is artwork and you can choose the artwork. I've just been on the phone to Samsung to set it up, but I was like, we're fine. Me and my mum set it up by ourselves in about 10 minutes. We even built the easel stand by ourselves. You can wall mount it, but we chose to have it on an easel stand because look how cool it looks. So the idea is that when you're out, you can have like pieces of art on it. You can choose loads of different art. Actually, Adam, can, can we show them how you can change the art? My brother just sat here. I feel like you'd like to see all the different artwork, but this one looks really good with the cushions. And my mum's kindly letting us have it in the family home. Well, not kindly, of course she wants it in the family home, but look until I get my flat. But look, you can choose all of these different artworks. And then the guy on the phone was telling me that there's an app you can get on your Samsung phone as well. I've got the S9 there. Look at this. And he was saying that you can choose literally thousands of pieces of artwork. How yeah, cool is this? To Wi-Fi as well. My mum's saying it hooks up to Wi-Fi, which we're very impressed with. Oh my God, I love that one. Look at that. One plug, see through cables, look how stunning this is so I couldn't not show you guys my new TV I am so happy I love that one as well so you can have it on kind of like a thing so that it keeps changing images or you can also have it so that when you're out of the house it still looks like art oh, it's kind of movement censored as well so it would just look like a TV and then if someone walked into your lounge there we go we'd have artwork on I could not believe it when Samsung got in touch and they were like do you want to try this TV Oh my god, what a dream, and I've been a big Samsung fan for years, I actually went to the Olympics with them in 2012, so I'm like a die-hard Samsung fan, um, and we actually have a Samsung TV in our cinema room as well, so yeah, this will eventually go in my flat if my mum, well, if I ever get to flat, and if my mum lets us depart with this, because it just looks so cool, so yeah, we're very, very happy in the Sheldon household today, beautiful, I expect to see more of this soon. So now I need to unpack and I need to straighten my hair, so pray for me. My back ain't feeling the best. Let's go. When I say unpack, I mean I'm unpacking to then repack to go straight to London. Although if there's bed bugs in my bag, I obviously can't do that. So many of you have tweeted me and been like, you need to like boil your bags. I think it was just on the bed and my bags were very separate, but obviously my pajamas are in my bag. So I'm very, very worried. I also bought some new stuff from Chanel, which is also my suitcase. So maybe the bed bugs have got that, who knows. <laughs> So we're in my bathroom and we're shaking it into the shower and then we're going to wash everything. Yay! Okay, so we're shaking out my first case. Oh, my back is so, so, so sore. Um, bed bugs are for life, not just for Christmas. We found the horrible pyjamas. Well, my really nice TKMY pyjamas that they'd obviously climbed on. But apparently bed bugs don't go for dirt, so... Uh, they obviously just liked my blood and that's my mum hoovering downstairs and my pajamas have got so much fake tan on obviously it was not transfer proof the one that I used I can't remember which one it was so there are going to be some very orange bed bugs walking around New York so ha, take that so my hair feels ridiculously smooth after using this treatment and now I'm just going to use the new GHD platinum plus I've had a lot of messages on Instagram about this I'm loving this more casual start to the vlog today. It's quite nice. I kind of just miss chatting with you guys. I'm just going to straighten my hair with this. The reason this is good is because, as you guys know, I am obsessed with my hair health after it was such a mess. And this basically makes the heat work depending on the thickness of your hair. So it's meant to be better for hair that needs strengthening or has been damaged. So let's quickly straighten my hair and then I can get on with my day. <laughs> Comment below, do you prefer straight hair or curly hair? Because I don't know. This new GHD Platinum Plus is amazing. Put it on your Christmas list. Okay, so, also, how cute is this, guys? I just hit 100K followers on Instagram, which I just want to say thank you so much if you follow me on Instagram and if you go and like any of my posts because a lot of people aren't aware that kind of aren't in the blogging world that there's a thing called the algorithm on Instagram. You probably hear bloggers talking about it and you think, what is that? I just want to see nice pictures. The algorithm basically means that Instagram is choosing what's going out to people. So Instagram is basically saying, we want you to pay us so that we show your audience your posts. 
it's so silly but it completely makes sense of course as a platform they need to make money but rather than charging the brands they want to charge kind of everyone it seems so a lot of my pictures go out to lots of people and then some of them don't get pushed out and it's almost as if the reach of my picture has been capped and I constantly get messages from people being like Em I never see your pictures obviously you can turn on notifications I don't expect you to do that but I know some people have um, or you can just search my profile manually but it can be quite frustrating so the fact that I've hit 100,000 it might not mean much to some people but to me it means so much that is 100,000 people who are supporting me and I just want to say thank you so much if you do follow me if you don't head over and do come and say hello and I basically just kept, went onto my account and saw this from one of my lovely followers M. Sheldon fan page and look she made a little thing congrats on 100k followers so thank you so much that is so 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 lovely and so 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 kind and I genuinely just feel so grateful to have all of your support and it just means so 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 much to me I know it's just a number but Instagram is so hard to grow on nowadays because you seem to like gain 50 followers and then lose 50 followers the struggle is real so I just want to say a big thank you it's literally taken me like years and years to get any followers because it's so hard or maybe people just hate my pictures who knows okay hair straight I need to put a bit more makeup on oh before I forget I got all of the range out of my suitcase so I will quickly talk to you about pure papaya care <gasps> It's so nice and I'm honestly obsessed with it at the moment. Oh, also this hair bubble is slip. The silk pillowcases I love, they now have silk hair bands so they don't snag your hair. So as the packaging and the name says, they really pride themselves on skin health and they are cruelty free, 100% natural, baby friendly and almost all vegan accredited. And one of the reasons I adore them so much is because they use my favourite fruit. They use the whole papaya fruit in their products, probably why they're so good. When I'm in the Maldives and Sri Lanka, I honestly live on papaya. Can't get good papaya in the UK, maybe I just need to move, it's a sign. But yeah, these have whole papaya in them. I had no idea that pa papaya has loads of benefits for the skin. It actually has loads of vitamins in it, minerals, healthy enzymes, and also something called papain. think I'm pronouncing that right. Basically acts as a gentle exfoliator to clear away dry and damaged skin and stimulate skin renewal, which is probably why it's so good for my dry lips. So this is basically in my bag all the time for my lips. Then you've got the ointment and the ointment. You've got a bigger one and a smaller one. Look at my nails from Ragdoll Nails. Guys, they're amazing. If you're in Leeds, go get them done. But yeah, I'm just so hooked. Even Matt keeps trying to steal this one and like you can get your own but I've been using the ointment on my lips as well like basically you can use it in so many ways so this one you can use it as a nappy cream you can use it to soften nipples while breastfeeding soothe and restore after laser therapy promote skin elasticity basically you can just use it in so many ways and I love that it's like a wonder product we need that in our lives so now I've rambled for this whole vlog I'm gonna get changed head downstairs I need to do some quick work and some pictures before it gets dark this is what happens in winter, the weather just turns so quickly. Then I need to repack for London, all whilst I've got these orange bed bugs probably still in my back. I just feel so dirty, like I just feel so dirty. Poetry working away. We've just taken some pictures on the Samsung. It's so good. So this is a Samsung S9 Plus sat on my laptop. Oh my god, guys, the quality. You'll see it on the Instagram feed soon. Look how dark it's gone, I told you. I'm also wearing this um, completely braless because the bra is hurting my back. So yeah, ooh, that's my Samsung going off. What's it saying? So yeah, I'm just quickly doing some work and then I'm gonna pack, repack. Ooh. <laughs> had a long drive down and then I've been taking some content on Oxford Street of Coca-Cola which is exciting that will probably be live on my feet by the time this goes live actually so yeah I'm wearing these trousers how cute are they my new trousers had a little tan last night my back is really not good still I think walking and as disgusting as it sounds getting sweaty makes it worse so we're just on our way now to do some house viewing it's been a manic morning we're viewing four properties probably won't be able to show you around them but let's see if I can and I'm sure it's gonna end in a bit of a disaster as always so it does with these house frames, but pray for me. What does the secret say in the book? Positivity wins. Yeah, girl, you're so overwhelming. You're like so I just checked into yet another hotel, a day in the life of me. Living in hotels, so I get a house sorted. We did see some good ones. I placed two offers, they're average. It's London, what can you do? Let's see what happens with that. 
um, but I'm kind of just tired of looking around places now and living in hotels. This is a beautiful hotel, it costs a lot of money, but I just thought, you know what, I want to stay somewhere nice tonight. So yeah, staying here tonight, and then this evening I'm going over to Seven Dials in Covent Garden because it is actually their Christmas special, like light switch on, and they've got events on. I love Seven Dials, Matt and I actually always go shopping there. They've got some really nice restaurants, so we're going for dinner at Monmouth Kitchen, and then we are just going to be shopping around. They've got 20% discount off, quite a lot of stores, and then they're just going to have loads of fun little pop-up things, and also the light switch on so it's gonna be my first proper Christmas activity apart from all the wreath making I've been doing recently so I'm very excited I'm just gonna whack my hair up do some work for an hour but yeah this is the room oh let me show you my trousers my new trousers full flow how nice are they so the best thing about this room apart from the fact that they give you canned water on arrival is that there's a little thing these treats on it. This is a room that me and Gabby stayed last week, by the way. If you guys are regular M Weekly viewers, you will remember that me and Gabby stayed here, although this room's bigger. I got a bigger one. Um, and look, you get freshly baked cookies. Gabs, you're not here, so I'm eating them all myself. So I'm ready to go to Seven Dials now. I'm wearing this dress, which is actually going to sell today. And then I'm going to pop my really comfy jacket over the top. I can't wear a bra because the bed bug bites. <laughs> Are too bad, so I'm gonna go jump in a new bit of seven dials. Cold. I just bought some aloe vera gel because a lady in Holland, ba Holland and Barrett told me it should make my bites better. But look how cute these Christmas lights are at Seven Dials. Seven Dials Christmas means Christmas is here. Oh, what's everyone queuing for? Oh, it's a photo booth. Happy Sunday! So the last part you saw on this vlog was us in London at Seven Dars. We ate the best food, we had the loveliest night, there was like mulled wine, and basically the Christmas lights look amazing. So if you are in London over the festive season, head to Seven Dars in Covent Garden. It's just so beautiful and made me feel so festive. I had such a lovely evening. All the mulled wine, so I'm still very itchy. I've actually now got a rash all over my stomach, which is worrying. I think I'm going to go to the doctors on Monday. I'm now back at home, as you can probably tell, so back in Yorkshire, had a phone call that's exciting but I'm going to discuss that with you in the next few days of this vlog. This vlog's going to be a few days mixed together, a few weeks, no, two weeks mixed together just because I've got quite a lot going on and thought I'd put it all into one vlog. So I've just been downstairs with my granddad, he's been watching my New York vlog, bless him, and I'm just wearing this all casual, going to pop a new jacket on. Um, <laughs> Pancakes. I'm trying these genius pancakes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Gluten-free, milk-free, wheat-free. So this is my breakfast this morning. Um, but yeah, and we're just going to head to Harrogate Christmas Markets today after I've eaten some breakfast. Just going to quickly try these two coats on. New coats, they're from Topshop and they're actually in the Black Friday sale. This one is so nice. I am so comfortable. I love wearing this jumper in winter. I've not got a bra on still because I'm trying not to hurt my back even more. 
this one which is a teddy bear coat love the color and it's so comfortable oh i feel like a teddy bear i'm gonna wear this one today so i'm gonna eat go see the fam sunday's family day and then we're heading to harrogate christmas markets not wearing heels i just wanted to get a nice picture Nana, necking her Baileys. <laughs> Good. <laughs> to unpack and then repack for London in the morning. Family got some treats from Betty's because it is not Christmas without a Betty's Christmas. What do you guys think? Do you think it's too early to talk about Christmas? I don't know, I feel like it might be, but then I don't know. I did feel quite festive today at the Christmas market. So nice to see my grandma and granddad. Family Sundays are the best. So I'm gonna have myself a green tea, do some work, wash this greasy hair of mine. I'm just gonna quickly go see if anything cool has come in the office so I can show you. Time for me to try Drunk Elephant, the cult skincare brand that everyone is talking about. So you get an eye serum, look at this packaging. The Be Hydrate Intensive Hydration Serum to quench and illuminate. The C Firm Day Serum with absorbic acid. And what's this one? Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. Bumble answered all my dreams with this because I've been taking and packing the big one of these with me everywhere I go, if you can see it. It's the invisible oil because it's a hair primer and I use it before blow drying my hair. It's amazing. This is their best of Bumble little party set and it's basically a selection of the cult classics and top sellers in this gorgeous bag. How nice is this? including the full size thickening spray and everyone loves these products and Bumble one of my favorite brands so it's available now it's worth 66 pounds but it's 33 pounds but this is perfect for a special little self-care sunday with elemis basically all of their calming range which i probably need right now for my body as soon as i'm covered in bites skin nourishing milk bath i've actually never used this i love elemis i use these on flights all the time Pro Collagen Hydrogel Masks, Treat Your Feet Foot Cream, and the Peptide 4000 Flower Mask Revitalizing Face Mask. This is amazing. I had a facial with it with Elemis when I did a stay over. I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. It's got Peptide 4 in it. The Calm Soothing Candle, Love Elemis Candles, and then some classic hot chocolate from Hotel Chocolate. That is so thoughtful and so special. What I need right now, actually. Slingsby Gin, they do a rhubarb one, and they are actually having a little terrace at the Ivy in Harrogate if any of you guys happen to live in Harrogate and it's to celebrate the Brasserie's first birthday. For three months only the Ivy Harrogate's garden terrace will be transformed into a winter botanical, botanical garden. Oh, I wish I should have gone today. <laughs> These cosy treats from Eco Tools. These are just insane. How special. What I'm going to do over Christmas is do some Instagram giveaways for you guys so make sure you're following me on Instagram just to say thank you to you guys for supporting me and obviously I do not have enough faces to use all of these amazing gifts and whilst I can write about them and say to you guys I recommend them it would be really nice last year I ended up sending quite a few of my followers presents just to say thank you and I also did Instagram stories giveaway so I'd like to do more next year this is the ultimate air dryer brush and I'm telling you guys it's insane I've been using it for so long but I actually lost mine so happy I've got a new one dries hair 40% faster Start the day beautifully, the tools for your daily beauty routine. Ego Tools are such a good brand, I've always loved their brushes. Total Perfecting Blender. This is by a brand called Found. Never heard of this before. Pore Care More Mud Face Mask. Warm Winter Glow Beauty Kit for an airbrush glow. Oh my god, this is so nice. Happiness, it looks so lovely on you. And a little, a little nut that says M on it and Merry Christmas, which is so cute. Happy Wednesday. I keep forgetting what day it is on these vlogs. So I just checked into the Mayfair Hotel. I am back in London now. Drove down from Leeds yesterday actually. And now I am back. I'm gonna put this on here. I look very pale. Basically, I'm gonna tell you some good news and some bad news. The bad news, and the reason I'm actually so pale right now, don't have any bronzer on, 
I was at an event with Newt's Uni yesterday, really cool, learning about some stuff I'm working with them on for the rest of the year. You guys know I love their Hydro Boost Serum, so I'm very excited. I was basically learning all about the science of skincare, and you guys know that I love skincare. I just didn't vlog yesterday because it was such a busy day. Good job I didn't vlog because the day ended in disaster. I'd put my MacBook Pro, which was the laptop that I literally bought a year ago, I'd popped it in my bag, stood up kind of behind me when I was sat at this day and I had a water bottle next to me. The cap on the water bottle obviously wasn't on properly. Took my laptop out of my bag when I got back to my hotel and oh my goodness, my whole laptop is broken. It's obviously Black Friday. It's such a busy week for me work-wise because I've been like telling everyone about the best, best Black Friday sales and everything. By the way, leave a link below to my full blog post because it's taken me hours to write with all the best Black Friday and Cyber Weekend sales in one easy place. There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I needed to do all of that stuff. I just had such a busy week. My whole laptop was broken, so I had to cancel all my meetings for the rest of the day yesterday. I'm gutted because I was meant to do a co-box class with Radox, which would have been so exciting. And I hate cancelling stuff. And then this morning I was meant to have a yoga class, I had to cancel that. Went to the Apple store and it's cost me a thousand pounds to fix it brilliant but obviously I need a laptop in the meantime so I then had to pay £3,000 for a new one because the MacBook Pro that has the right processor for the amount of videos that I edit that's just how much it costs it was like £2,800 with some added insurance so yeah I have no money now but on a very positive note I mean Merry Christmas um that was not in the Black Friday sale on a very positive note I'm now in the Mayfair Hotel Ta -da! my favorite hotel I'll give you a little tour in a minute. The reason I'm pale is because my makeup brushes also got splattered with my water. They are so damp that I actually couldn't put any bronzer on. So excuse my paleness. And yeah, so basically, the news is, as you guys know, so this vlog, we've been doing lots of house hunting, looking around loads of houses. The whole thing has been a bit of a disaster, if I'm completely honest. Bought a house in January, to cut a long story short. Everything fell through, that was a disaster. Since then, I've not had the heart to look at anywhere to buy, and also there's just not really good places to buy at the moment. On top of that, Brexit is happening. We don't know what that's gonna to do to the housing market, so I've been advised by financy people that because we don't know what's gonna happen, hold on from buying. So then I was like, right, I need to be in London because I'm spending hundreds of pounds every single week on hotels, it's just getting ludicrous. So, because I base myself literally like, I'd say 70% London, 30% Yorkshire, for people who aren't from England, they're like a four or five hour drive from each other or a two hour train, but it's a lot of lugging around and it's not that good for my well-being constantly being back and forth. So I decided I'm just gonna rent somewhere. If you watched my recent vlog, you'll know that renting is actually harder than buying in London because with me being self-employed, so many people are like, nope, even if you pay up front, nope, or I've had people pull contracts from me. It's just been so difficult and so stressful, so I was giving up. We finally found a flat the other day, and it's not like the flat of my dreams. It's got a really nice living area and, outdoor area and an outdoor area, and I'm moving in tomorrow. So there's the exciting news for you. So I expect moving vlogs, homeware vlogs. I mean, I'm so excited. We're literally moving in tomorrow. So I'm going to film the whole process. I'm going to like film everything I'm getting for the house. I'm gonna give you a bit of a tour, so keep an eye out on my channel because that will all be live. But finally, it means I'm gonna be here a bit more often. I'm still gonna be in Yorkshire all the time as well because my family are there and I also do a lot of work over there. But it's better to have a base in London and stop living in all of these hotels, although I'll live in the Mayfair. So that's my news, guys. I'm very happy. So yeah, I can't wait to show you the flat. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you around the Mayfair. I've actually got dinner tonight with the guys um, at Edwardian Hotels who actually own the Mayfair and I stay here all the time and they are so nice to me. The staff know me now, they're just so lovely. So it'll be so nice to meet the team behind it all, but let me quickly show you. Look at this, rose petals. Me and Matt love this room. It's our fave room, isn't it? Yes, we love the Mayfair. We love the Mayfair. Matt's eating the chocolate strawberries because I've just been in meetings. He couldn't resist. He couldn't resist, he didn't leave me any, did he? Um, I mean, this is why we love it. Look at that bathtub, guys. I'm sure there will be an Instagram post soon of me in this bath. So I'm gonna get ready, because I'm heading to a cocktail event at first, and then I am heading for dinner at Leicester Square Kitchen. I'm ready! So I'm wearing my gold earrings, that were three pounds, I'll link them below. I'm also wearing this coat, which is currently in the Black Friday sale. I think it's like nearly half price. And this dress that I wear all the time with my Ted Baker boots, which I love. Keep an eye out for them on Black Friday as well. Um, first, I'm going to a drinks event, so let's go.
else. I went to two events. I went to one where it was like cocktail making, delicious cocktails, and it was a nice little pop-up, a winter pop-up, so cozy. Second one was with Edwardian Hotels. This is actually an Edwardian hotel. Oh my god, I'm so excited because I didn't realise, I always think a lot of these companies are like huge corporate companies, which they are, but Edwardian Hotels was started by one man, it's a family company, which makes me love it, and he's got great taste in bathtubs. And it was so nice to meet the ladies and just chat about everything, and I have some exciting stuff coming up in 2020. So I'll tell you about that soon. So I'm just going to do a face mask. I'm going to do Neutrogena. Me and Matt both did Neutrogena face masks last night. Didn't vlog it. Matt, do you like the Neutrogena face masks? I do, actually. I'm not a massive fan of some face masks because sometimes they make me go a bit itchy, don't they? Yeah. But that was actually not. So I used the Hydro Boost one because I really needed some some nice, like, hydration. This one is Hydro Gel Smart Smoother Ageless Boost. Then I'm going to pop a hair mask on because my hair feels a bit frazzled. I'm going to use this Care Lux Caviar for Hair Mask. Lux Caviar Complex. How good does that sound? So I'm going to whack those on and then I'm going to edit this vlog and go to bed. So tomorrow we get the keys to the flat. Speak with clarity. Morning guys, slept like a baby, although very tired because it's very early. Had breakfast in bed at the Mayfair and now I'm just I'm just heading to the Rosewood Hotel with Marks and Spencers because I'm doing a calligraphy class. Not sure what that entails apart from drawing and I'm a very messy person. So I'm gonna quickly take you to that with me, then I'm gonna, gonna come back, check out and get the keys. Just like that, I'm changed. I am going. <laughs> Hello guys, so just finished the calligraphy event. I'm now back with Marks and Spencers. I am now back at the Mayfair. I literally have an hour to quickly do some work, get some pictures, and then I'm gonna head off. I'm gonna say goodbye now, and there is gonna be a full video about moving into my flat. It's gonna be a moving vlog, picking up the keys, that kind of stuff. So keep an eye out for that. That will probably be next week. Don't forget it's Black Friday, guys. I am gonna leave my blog post below with all of my top sales. Go and treat yourself with some amazing designer sales. I'm so tired because I've been up putting these blog posts together. So I'm going to say goodbye and the next few vlogs are going to be very exciting. Thanks for the love and being so amazing, guys. And come say hi on Instagram and Twitter. Mwah. I wanted to say bye. I was saying bye, not hi. Bye, right. bye. Bye. Bye.